I still wake up every morning looking forward to coming to work after 51 plus years here. Mom and Dad. My grandfather and father did a lot of work at Greenwood. They were independent contractors, but my dad did a lot of installations here. I think now I could teach him a few things. I graduated high school in 1972, and my father asked me if I wanted a summer job. So I became a grass cutter at Greenwood Cemetery. Just never left, um, just became more and more interesting to me. And I would just suck up all the information I could gather. I was just, to this day, I still learn more about preservation and, and history and the cemetery every day. Every day there's something new here. I'm gonna go to our historic chapel, which has been honored twice by the Preservation League. Right now, we have a wonderful exhibit there for Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. We actually had five public officials here, two state senators, two state assembly people, and our city council representative, all here together. Uh, we're nearing the end of our life as an active burial space. We only have a few years left of selling burial property. And then we have to think about what's gonna happen then. I don't want this to be a 478 acre ghost town, literally. Once generations die off, fewer and fewer people would be coming here to visit loved ones. I mean, I, vi I visit my mom and dad buried here. Do I visit my grandfather at Holy Cross? No, I don't. Uh, and that will happen here eventually. So we're doing things to head that off in a sense by having the community buy in to some of the things we're doing. If we're important to enough people in the community as something other than a burial space, I think our future is bright. We have a restoration team here led by Neela Wickremesinga. This wild cherry lost a branch, not even a big branch, but it hit it just right. I think I have all the pieces and I'm putting together the bottom pieces, labeling them. So when I glue everything back together, once the bottom is solid, then the crane can pick it up. We've got thousands and thousands of monuments here that legally, they're not our responsibility. But I've always felt, even though it may not be our legal responsibility, that it is our responsibility. It's really great to work for a, a preservationist who understands what I'm doing and I don't have to explain so much. We, we speak the same language, which is really great. We have a workforce development program that trains young people in the preservation arts and finds good jobs for them, good paying jobs. It's just really worked. The Preservation League gave that program an award. We're gonna continue it as long as we can. It's good for the cemetery, it's good for the community, it's good for the preservation world. It's a win-win-win. Heading to the We Are Greenhouse and the future site of Greenwood's Education and Welcome Center. So our past has a future, has specific meaning for us in this building where we're standing right now. This is the 1893 We Are Greenhouse, which we purchased in 2011, and it will be part of our new Education and Welcome Center. We've meticulously restored it. We anticipate being a pillar of the community. Uh, there's a lot of excitement building in the community for this. And when Greenwood is doing fewer and fewer burials, we will still be an important part of this community where we will tell the history of Greenwood, the history of New Brooklyn, the history of New York City, the history of the country right here at Greenwood. So this, is our future. Mm -hmm.